Friday, July 16, 1915, dawned bright and clear on Treasure Island Scout Camp. In addition to the heavy heat that often hangs over the Valley of the Delaware, there was something else in the air. It was an almost indescribable feeling of expectancy and mystery. While only a few on the island had been taken into the confidence of the camp directors, everyone in the camp was aware that this was a big night, although few had any idea of the history about to take place. The day wore on slowly, and by sundown the air was charged with a tense excitement, something that was to be a vital factor in the lives of thousands of boys and men was about to begin. Unfortunately, no written record of the original induction ceremony remains, but Dr. E. Erner Goodman recalled these details of the original ceremony as follows. A path led under a fallen tree and two campers had no idea they were approaching the council fire until they passed under the tree and the ceremonial ground was revealed. There stood E. Erner Goodman, chief of the fire, and Carol A. Edson, vice chief of the fire. They were clothed in long black robes that had been made by the wife of a neighboring farmer. On the front of each robe was a black sash and a white arrow. On the back was a cardboard cutout to resemble a turtle the symbol of old age, wisdom, and integrity to the Lene Lenape. The turtle, superimposed in a triangle, denoted leadership. The centennial totem has been thoughtfully designed to represent those values and symbols of the Order of the Arrow that have endured over the past century. First, the candidates attempted to encircle the trunk of a large tree with outstretched arms. Unable to encircle the tree, the candidates were joined by their brothers and together had no difficulty encircling the tree. This demonstrated the principle of brotherhood. The first W on the centennial totem represents Wimachtendink, Lene Lenape for brotherhood. Second, each candidate was given a bundle of small, dry twigs and was told to place them on the council fire. When they did this, the twigs caught fire readily and illuminated the ring, adding to the cheer of their fellows. This demonstrated cheerfulness. The second W on the centennial totem represents Wingo Lauskic, Lene Lenape for cheerfulness. Next, the candidates were directed to scale a steep bank adjacent to this council fire unattended. Failing, they were assisted by their brother with whose help they were able to climb the elevation. This demonstrated the principle of service. The third W on the centennial totem represents went to him away. Lene Lenape for service. In the modern ordeal ceremony, Alwatsukima, the mighty chief, reminds us of the symbolism of the arrow. fitly chosen. It must be small, its point keen, aimed high, it must be undeviating, it must be pointed upward and onward. And later, what it means for us airmen. He who serves his fellows is of all his fellows greatest. And finally, he bound us each into this great brotherhood. He whispered the admonition of our, into our ears and led us 
and the solemn obligation of our order. Tonight, he will reaffirm our, our commitment to these high ideals as each of you stands again before the mighty chief to recite our obligation. I do hereby promise on my honor as a scout that I will always and faithfully observe and preserve the traditions of the Order of the Arrow. Mahdi, 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 I will always regard the ties of brotherhood and the Order of the Arrow as lasting, and will seek to preserve the cheerful spirit even in the midst of worrisome tasks and weighty responsibilities, and will endeavor, so far as in my power lies, be unselfish in service and devotion to the welfare of others. Finally, let us celebrate our newfound commitment to the Order's foundation of brotherhood, cheerfulness, and service. Let us each join hands and sing the song of our Order. Yeah, join. Oh, jeez. Oh, Christ. Oh. Yeah.